All right, so first of all, a word on safety. So don't ever try anything that I do ever at home. Don't ever, don't ever attempt anything that I do uh, because I am a, I'm a highly trained professional, okay? My uncle knew a guy that was in the Illuminati, so I know what I'm doing, um, but I, I don't. Well, hello there. I hope you are all doing well. Uh, for the last couple weeks, I've been deep into a writing project, and I wanted to kind of show you a little bit of how uh, the process goes. I'm writing a fantasy story, and the story takes place in a place that doesn't exist. Um, and so I'm kind of building the world. Uh, the character I already know, because uh, it's a character that showed up in three of my other books and every of my other stories um but he's going to be going through uh this really cool world um this is actually a prequel <laughs> sounds stupid but it's a prequel to knocks and dies it's uh it's like right right before the knife scene in knocks and dies so anyway uh he goes uh, the thresher of the rain is what it's called so i'll show let me show you the world that i'm building so it's the thresher of the rain and um, it's uh, of the third age. And so it'd be Knox and Dies 1.1, Sundowners 1.1, 4.2, 4.5. So that's just all the other places that Bansu is in, the character, the lead character. Um, so what? So what's going on here is that he is in, he goes into, there's a mining town. And the mining town is called Anault Crater. And so it's a it's a huge crater in the middle of a of it's in the earth and um, it's huge it's a huge ancient crater and it's created all of these uh, well if you see so it's a huge so the the meteor hit and it left all of these different um, precious metals around <clears throat> so all of these warring uh, mining factions. It's a fantasy world, okay? Um, there's magic and, and, you know, cowboys and stuff. You know, everything's Star Wars, okay? Um, <laughs> so, anyway, uh, so there's all these different quarries, and the quarries pull out different metals, uh, these, like, special metals, because of the, the comet that hit and landed there. And so there's this big ravine that's in the middle, and you want to think, like... Um, like, like Grand Canyon's an easy one, but it's it's closer to um, um, like Canyon City, you know, like where the cowboys are. So you want to think about that, but in like craters. And so, so this is a huge like, <laughs> like bottomless pit, basically. And this is a canyon. So, so this main canyon runs down the middle of it. And so, I wasn't really sure how to draw the lines and how to make it work organically, to to get like to see who was on top and see who was winning and see, you know, just work the story and have my character just more observing and interacting with the world. And so what I started doing is, um, one of the things that helps me think of stories really well is I gotta like zone out. And by that is like, you know, I put on uh, some music, classical music, and then I melt candles. And for this one, I got a bunch of candles and I'm gonna let them melt to build the world. So as you can see, uh, I got these square ones that will represent the, the mining factions, right? And they're, gonna, they're along here. And then this would be the ravine here. And I know I don't have this one on here yet, but I'm gonna see what happens to it. I'm gonna let it like kind of create itself. And so, um, never yeah. attempt so anything that I do. Uh, because I am a, I'm a highly trained professional, okay? My uncle knew a guy that was in the Illuminati, so I know what I'm doing. Um, but I, I don't expect you all to just be able to understand fire safety. I'm sure a lot of you do, but, but don't do, don't ever light a candle without a sober, responsible adult around, okay? So, with that in mind, with that said, Here's what's going on. So since there's all these different mines in the story and they're having these warring factions, over the canyon they built these bridges. And these bridges have now become a point of contention for the different uh, 
minds because you know there's these bridge wars right like in like reno right and so uh they fight over these bridges and i wasn't sure exactly uh, how I wanted to set up the bridges or set up the factions and stuff like that. So what I'm doing is I'm letting the candle do the work for me. And this is highly monitored. We have uh, smoke smoke detectors and uh, fire extinguishers at the ready. And so I'm just going to put a camera on this and let her roll and just see what happens. And I'll time lapse it and we'll get back. See if it turns into something good or if it turns into a mess now obviously i'm not going to burn let them all burn at the same time i control that i'm a professional I'm here at the Truckee River again in this tiny hamlet village in western New Hampshire. This day is never going to end. Professor Presley? He's awesome. It was the imaginary body slam heard round the world. That's right, Carl. Down here on the uh, near the arena, arena it has uh, been quite a scene here. The Skeletor defeated He-Man uh, finally in a match, and everyone was in attendance. Well, Skeletor, congratulations on the win Skeletor, today. Look at and uh, could you tell me? That's right. That's right. Well, Skeletor, could you tell me? Could you tell me what were you thinking uh, going into the match? And then how did how did you know that you had finally won? Skeletor finally defeated He-Man. Skeletor defeat He-Man. I knew that everything in the world was going to change. Logically, it was bound to happen at some point. What's not logical is how Skeletor says He-Man when he doesn't have lips. I wonder if Skeletor's mom's name is Martha. Seemed obvious. I'm here at the Truckee River where the water has risen significantly. It has been raining on and off today. And now time for a dino adventure. We are here at a wildlife reserve and I have been called in for some reason or other. Some amphibian or weird thing that's in the Truckee River. And they, uh, and they want you to check it out. An amphibian in the Truckee River. Or something like that. Maybe a, like, like an maybe alligator? A like a crocodile or a crocodile? ginormous anaconda. Which which one's bigger? Crocodile's bigger. Probably a crocodile. Yeah. I don't know. Gator. Anacondas can get pretty big too. Gator was a skateboard guy in the 90s. I don't know. But All right, we're going to go look for the... You're the one that they call for this kind of shit. We're going on a gator hunt. They've seen what's, something. What's the blue thing in the water? Okay. 
Somebody saw it. I think there's uh, fire engines coming. It's, it's, They're coming. Right. on the island a few days. Well, I've been out here on the island for a few days now, and I don't see any lizard-like creature, so I'm not sure what they were talking about. Yes. Plank! Plank! What were they doing under there? Okay, so like I said, it, it, it turned out to be a tarplon, and uh, the, the fire trucks and everybody, all these people got involved here, and uh, if everyone would have just listened to me, it was a tarplon. However, uh, the reason it was moving and scaring everyone, because what was inside it? Fucking duck. It's always a duck. It's a duck inside the tarplon. It wasn't an alligator. It's always a duck. I'm also not sure how human relationships work, so I think we're going to be fine. I do know that love is universal. And I also know that listening, listening to your spouse is an important part of any marriage. It's like my first wife used to say, which was, uh, um, are you listening to me? Are you paying attention? Are you listening to me or just watching the game? Yeah. Well, there 
never forget her saying that. And uh, put the cream down in there first, the cold cream. And you get your warm coffee. You want to put air into it. So you do this long pour here. beautiful people thank you for coming by my channel and watching all these videos it, it means a lot to me uh, I, uh, there's been tons of new subscribers and for the people that have been with me for a long time they kind of get it my kooky Edwood style of filming but uh, for all you new subscribers thank you again for coming by and we have tons of videos over 600 on there and I promise you, at least eight of them are, <laughs> are worth watching. They go, what, what is this? What, what did I just watch? What, what are you doing here? And so <laughs> I'll give a little explanation. So first of all, hello there. I am Professor Presley. Everyone calls me Vance that are friends with me because it would be weird to call me Professor out in the real world. So, what is this? What is this channel? What are you doing here? Well, I don't want to give away all the secrets. Sometimes it's me as a character. Sometimes it's me in my real life. Now, in my real life, I do... Oh no, I forgot some flowers for Mother's Day. Who's gonna help me?